Hi everybody, I'm Sherry Piles and I am one of the designers on the Teresa Collins design team and I am so excited to show you today my version of the December Daily and that's fashioned after the Allie Edwards December Daily that she's been doing for years and I created mine with the entire collection of the Noel line by Teresa Collins and before I show you how I made all of this, I'm going to show you some prep work that I did beforehand. And I don't know if you can zoom, let's zoom in on this. These are the legs for the box so that it can stand upright. And then I did a finial up at the top as well. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I took these raw wood pieces that I got at Michael's and I simply painted them in silver and then dipped them in Gentry's glitter from the blingage line this stuff is so darn sparkly this is amazing 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 if you have not done this or played with it and then I also took um, one of the photo corners from Tim Holtz and I also painted that in silver and then dipped it in the Gentry's glitter and they are just like the creme de la creme. This box is a cigar box that I purchased at Michael's. And I understand you can get it at Joann's and then there's some other stores called um, like Hobby Lobby. And it's, when you purchase it, it's just raw wood. And I took off all of the hardware before um, doing anything else and I had a binder mechanism that I had on hand and I very carefully drilled two holes to hold the binder and I mean carefully because this wood is really soft and I have two brads holding it in there and they have long legs on them and I glued it for extra measure <laughs> and then on the what you can't see, which is behind this paper, I took the legs and I bent them down, and then I glued them, and then I it, and then I put tape over the top of them, and then I layered the box with this paper, and it's just so creamy and beautiful, and I just love, love, love it. So I did this the whole way around it, and then on the back as well, in this cream paper. And then for the cover, I use side B of the damask, red damask paper, so it's the gold side. And the first thing that I did was cut it down to size and I rounded the corners just on these two sides because the photo corners are gonna cover the other side. And then with some letters that I had on hand, just some spare letters that I had, I put them, stuck them, and I wrote the word, or uh, taped off the word here, Mary and Bright, and then inked over the top of them. And I used H Mahogany and Barn Red, or Barn Door together from the Tim Holtz Distress Ink go really well if you combine the two of them. And you just take off your letters, and you can use undo to, so that way, in case your letters are really sticky and you don't want to damage your paper. But I put them on pretty lightly. So you can kind of see how that came together to make Merry and Bright. I'm going to set this aside. <coughs> After I did the Merry and Bright, I put on my, this is um, one of the red letters, transparencies. And I just laid it over the top and I glued I adhered it to the page um, in the middle because um, all the other stuff will cover that adhesive and then the corners that are silver, imagine this being silver now, um, will also hold it down. So there you go. There's that little trick on that. And then for the center, you can see here I used the 25 days until Christmas counting down. I use <laughs> one of Taylor's clips from the Blingage line. And these things, they're so wonderful. You can, 
there's so many uses for these. I use them in my hair and my daughter's hair. I just love how beautiful these are. So I put my ribbon, yeah, tied my ribbons to it. Whoops. And then this beautiful, oh, love this. It's called McKay's Gems, also from the Blingage line and tied it to it as well. And then with all of that tied on to the uh, two Taylor's clip, I glued it to the back and then with all that stuff dangling and then taped it down. Now I did layer this piece on chipboard so it was really nice and sturdy. And then I used pop-up dots to put it onto the page. And then I just put additional embellishments as well. So once I did that, I went ahead and put my corner pieces on, and then my wood pieces that I painted and dipped in Gentry's glitter. And I wanna show you this trick. It's gonna probably be best. Can you, can you see that okay? Okay. I glued only three quarters of it. Let's see, is that okay? Mm -hmm. So from here back, I glued it and then attached it to the box so that way it's hanging over. But you can still open and close the box just fine. And then that way when the box is closed, it looks like it's centered. So it's just kind of an optical illusion, but that is how I did that. And then for the interior pages, put this aside. On a big long table, I had these six by eight uh, page protectors and I just laid them out on a big table. So you kind of get the gist here. I'm going to show you this number seven here in just a moment. I took the counting down paper and I had two sheets of this. So I used this side and I also used this side. And so you can see my number seven, where is that up here? I glued this piece. Oh, <laughs> the um, tags and borders paper and then these ticket stubs and I don't know if you can see these but it says like Noel and home and Santa and twinkle I just I love these ticket stubs but I glued them all onto 12 by 12 cardstock so this piece this piece the countdown paper, and then I did have an extra sheet of this so that I could also do the reverse side. I put on chipboard. So I just like, I really like the way that it feels. I just like the thickness of it. So you can see that here, the number seven is on chipboard. And then let's see. I glued all of my embellishments. In addition to those embellishments, I also used the tags paper. And these are just, I love the tags paper. And the envelopes with the little tabs, love those. So all of this, all of those embellishments, I glued, you can see, right on top of my page protectors and then started layering all of my pieces. So you can see that there, and that's another one of the pieces. Just love that. So I assembly lined everything. So all 25 pages were lined up on a, on a table, and I just put my numbers and then just started adding embellishments as I went. And then, because we all love a little bling in our life, you can see like on the number five here, I used one of Jesse's jewels and then on the transparency sheets I put one of the tags 
here. This is family. And I added one of Stephanie's gems to the eye. I just love how that looks. It's so sparkly and fun, when on, especially on the transparency. So anyway, that is how I put together my album. And I thank you so much for viewing. Have a great day.